So the very last thing to talk about is the final exam. So we have made it to that part or that point. So now we're done with the fifth exam, which I still have to grade. I'll hopefully get that done over the weekend before the final exam occurs. It's been busy. So anyways, let's talk about the final. So basically the final overall has exactly the same structure as I had mentioned in that live Zoom session. Um, so basically again, it's short split up into two sections. So again, first section is again, the short answer, uh, quick calculation section. So here there are going to be uh, six questions. And you're going to choose four. So out of those six, you'll be able to choose four of them. So basically, it's just double the size of the regular exam since we have two hours instead of uh, one hour. <laughs> so a lot of these are actually ranking questions. So basically inside of these, you'll find a lot of uh, ranking questions. So for example, the ranking questions go back to the first exam. Uh, you can look at the first exam. I think there's at least one ranking one on there. So good. And then the second part are going to be instead of long problems, let's call these now medium problems. Uh, there are five of these, and you have to do all of them, just like on the regular exam. Uh, now, these are what I'm calling medium-sized problems as opposed to long problems, because most of these are going to be one to a maximum of three parts. I think there's actually only one question that has three parts, but most of them are going to be one or two parts, so basically a part A and a part B for most of them, or some it will just be one, one type of thing. Uh, so here... And the, the point of this section is more of, hey, do you remember what this is? Do you remember how to use it? And show me that you know how to use it. Um, now, the level of difficulty of these is going to be closer to the group assignments. So not like what we find on the standard exams, but again, a little more straightforward, a little bit easier. Because again, the idea is, especially going all the way back to exam one, you know, do you remember these concepts? Do you remember how to use these things? And then basically show me how to use these. And again, the exam isn't over all five exams. It's only gonna be exams one through four. Now, I also mentioned that you get uh, either four index cards, front and back, basically one for each of the different four exams, or you get one eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, both front and back. Again here, so you're gonna do all five. Again, these are gonna be one to three parts, uh, basically each. Uh, so a good place to basically look over this stuff is to go back to the group assignments. Uh, basically, study all the different group assignments, go through them, uh, you know, see how those actually work. What you did, and uh, kind of like a little wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Uh, some of these in the past have been taken directly from the group assignment, so go ahead and look at those. <coughs> uh, short answer, quick calculation, a lot of those, again, like I said, would just be similar to the ones that are on the previous exam. So here, uh, the medium-sized problems are going to hit basically all the major topics. So what are the major topics that we talked about in this class? Well, first major topic was kinematics. Uh, second major topic was forces. Uh, third major topic was conservation of energy. And we'll come back to that in just a second. Uh, fourth major topic then was conservation of momentum. And then finally, we have the rotational analogs of things. So we also have torque. And then in conservation of energy, this is going to include angular as well. So rotational energy. So conservation of rotational energy. So basically, these are going to be basically the five uh, medium-sized problems. So one about kinematics, one about forces, uh, one involving conservation of energy. But remember, conservation of momentum does not go without conservation of energy. So it would definitely be one with conservation of momentum and conservation of energy. Uh, one just conservation of energy. So if this 
one involves with energy, so this one will probably be more with energy, with rotational energy. Uh, and then finally one that deals with torque. So these were the main topics that we had seen. Again, go back, look over the uh, old group assignments, you know, see the level of difficulty, kind of work through those, uh, remind yourself of all the different things that we actually did. Uh, again, these are, again, supposed to be more straightforward than they were on the regular exams. <laughs> Also kind of shorter, so again, either one to three parts. Uh, I think only one problem, again, has three parts. Everything else has one or two parts. Uh, so kind of give you an example. So for example, if it was doing forces, part A would be, what's the acceleration of the system, right? So there you'd have to draw a three body diagram, uh, and then use, apply Newton's second law, use those things together to then find the acceleration. And then part B would be something like, okay, now it has, I don't know, moved two meters. How much time did it take to go two meters? Or how fast is it going after it went to two meters? And again, I would be using the acceleration from part A to then determine something about what's going on in part B. <clears throat> so that's, that's basically it. So again, study your old group assignments, focusing in on these major concepts. So again, these are the major concepts that we should have taken away from this class. Um, and again, it's not covering anything from chapter five, so that means no fluids, um, no thermodynamics, no anything like that. All that stuff was just on exam five because we just had that, what, two days ago now. Uh, I don't want to test you on it again in another like three days from today. So, so fun. So this is it. So if you guys have any questions, uh, just go ahead and email me or uh, let me know if you need to do a review with me. Can sit down and talk about some things. Uh, so last thing to talk about is length of the test. So again, this is the final exam, so it's supposed to be two hours long. But again, mostly just to make sure that you have time to take all the pictures and upload everything. So for the other exams, for uh, exam four and exam five, I gave you an extra, what, 45 minutes to make sure that you had enough time to take all the pictures and upload everything. <clears throat> so since this is twice as long, so we have basically almost twice as much of stuff uh, to turn in, then I'm gonna give you more time than that. So I'm probably gonna give you, so we'll do an hour, 15 minutes. So that means overall, you're gonna have three hours and 15 minutes to complete and upload the final. So it's gonna be broken out the same way. So you'll find the, under the online exams, you'll find the final exam folder and there, you'll have all your submissions to be able to upload everything as well. Uh, one thing to note here I forgot to mention is there is gonna be one extra credit problem, which, actually won't have anything to do with any of these. <laughs> so, uh, so I'll just kind of throw that out there. That's something that was on the fourth exam. So let's kind of leave that that way. Uh, anyways, so that's about it. So again, same structure as before, short answer calculation. Now you have twice as much. So again, six choices, choose four of them. I did three, that's four. Uh, this part then, you now have five instead of six, like it should be on there, but, but that's fine. Uh, and again, these are one to three parts. So again, A or A and B at most A, B, C. And again, it's going to cover all of these particular topics. And again, a short answer, most of them are going to be ranking questions. Uh, but when it comes to ranking questions, as I mentioned before, you also have to justify in some sort of way. So again, on that first exam with that ranking question, uh, it asked you to rank particular things and then you had to justify your your answer so so again so expect some sort of justification of of these things so for example a question could say <clears throat> you know which one has the greatest tension or which one has the greatest normal force or something like that then you have to justify your answer on why that is true so that's about it so again if you have any questions you want to see me just let me know send me an email and we can uh, Zoom, uh, or just go back and forth between emails. Otherwise, again, this is not supposed to be hard. It's supposed to be more straightforward. It's supposed to be, again, these are the major concepts. Do you remember them? Do you know how to use them? Show me how to use them. And again, all of these things are going to be used in next semester to 206. So we want to make sure that you have a master in these things because when we get to 206, I'm going to assume that you remember all these. <laughs> And we're just going to keep compounding and building on top of these, but now in a more abstract way, because now we're going to talk about electricity and magnetism. 
for the majority of the semester. We're going to start off with basic Newtonian stuff, uh, harmonic oscillations before that. <clears throat> but we're not going to repeat or basically review any of these things. We're going to jump right into it by the time we get into tool six. So we got to make sure we have a good foundation of these things because we're just going to build on top of them. So again, let me know if you have any questions and otherwise, good luck. Uh, Monday, I don't think I'll be on Zoom, uh, but I should be available for emails. Uh, so if you have email questions while you're taking the exam, just email me. I think my wife has a final at the same time, so I won't be able to be on Zoom. I'll have to be with the kids, but, but I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible.